my brothers and sisters, a good afternoon, a good evening, all depending on what time you listen to this message. But I want to say thank you for tuning in for another message today. No matter where you're listening from, if you're listening by way of internet, my brothers and sisters, if you're listening live from Ustream Radio, if you're listening from Facebook, if you're listening from Twitter, if you're listening from YouTube, I want to say thank you for tuning in for another message today. These are the ministries of Elder Jerry and Sheila Payne, and my name is Elder Jerry Payne. My brothers and sisters, today's message is going to come from the book of Psalms. And I'll be reading chapter 18, verses uh, 17 and 18. The book of Psalms, chapter 18, and I'll be reading verse 17 and 18. He delivered me from my strong enemy and from them which hated me, for they was too strong for me. They prevented me in the day of my calamity, they, but the Lord God was my state. My brothers and sisters, in today's title is going to be uh, in verse 17, and it's going to be, uh, the title would be, He delivered me from my strong enemy, and from them which hated me, for they was too strong for me. The day's title, my brothers and sisters, is The Strong Enemy. My Strong Enemy. The title comes from verse, uh, chapter, verse 17, My Strong Enemy. My brothers and sisters, I want you to think about it for a minute. Uh, we are many different types of people from many different walks of life. We have different ups and we have different downs. We have different trials and different tribulations. My brothers and sisters, and we have different weaknesses in our lives. And when we was kids, we was exposed to different things that had an effect on our life today. Now, your strong enemy, who is your strong enemy? Your strong enemy could be habits that you have not overcame yet. Your strong enemy could be literally real people that are fighting against you, whether they're fighting against you in your job or in your church or, or in your home. My brothers and sisters, at any given time, anyone could become your enemy. My brothers and sisters, you could be your own enemy. Sometimes with the way you think, sometimes, you know, the, the, the mind, my brothers and sisters, when they had that old commercial that a mind is a terrible thing to lose, that, that is very true. There are some people that uh, fight against themselves. They, uh, they, they degrade themselves. They defile themselves. Uh, my brothers and sisters, they're negative. They're always speaking negative, never speaking positive. So you can fight against your very own self. But what I like about the Lord, if you put your trust in Him, He'll deliver you from your strong enemy. Your strong enemy could be your past. There are a lot of things that we made mistakes doing back in the day. We made mistakes when we didn't have the education of the uh, Word of God like we needed it. We didn't have the wisdom uh, from the Word of God that we have now. We definitely did not have the understanding that we have today f uh, from the Word of God. So my brothers and sisters, there are some things that you did in the past that are still bothering you, still hunting you, still uh, making life tough for you. But my brothers and sisters, the strong enemy, your strong enemy, if you trust in God, he will make everything okay. No matter who it is. You know, a lot of times, my brothers and sisters, there's always somebody in our life that say that we won't make it, that we won't do it. That we will never amount to anything good. That there is no good in us, my brothers and sisters. That can be your strong enemy. My brothers and sisters, if you made a foolish mistake financially, the bills that you can't pay could be your strong enemy. My brothers and sisters, there's somebody out there that might be sick right now. When, and I don't know whatever your sickness is, but whatever it is, it's your strong enemy. Because maybe there's not a cure for your disease. Maybe there's not a healing that you did not get yet. It could be many different things. It could be diabetes. It could be cancer. My brothers and sisters, it could be arthritis. My brothers and sisters, it could be high blood pressure. There are many things, many simple things that could be our strong enemy. We can't 
live our life the way we supposed to live our life a good healthy life because I got this one thing that keep bothering me this one thing that keep hindering me this one thing that keep holding me back my brothers and sisters but God he delivered me from my strong enemy my strong enemy you know a lot of times in life when we make bad financial situations we get bad credit from that so to some people out there bad credit could be your strong enemy but I'm here today to tell you if you just put your trust in God I declare it in the name of Jesus that he will make everything all right. There are some people that, 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 that got incarcerated when they was young. And, and my brothers and sisters, those things, that even today, you know, you did whatever you were supposed to do and you have served your time. But society never lets you forget your mistake. But I just want to tell you this morning, put your trust in God and he will make everything all right. There are some people out there that don't have good relationships with their kids because of the past. I want to let you know, you have to put your trust in God. Remember one thing I'm going to tell you right now today. My brothers and sisters, no matter what you're going through, I hear a lot of people talk about love. You hear every church you see on this planet talk about love. You know, every good church. No, there are some churches out there that, that don't stand for Jesus. Every building is not established for Jesus. There's other religions out there. But in the whole, the body of Christ, you often hear them talk about love. My brothers and sisters, let me tell you something. Love, my brothers and sisters, true love. You know, that agape love, the kind of love that Jesus had when he died on the cross for us. It's the kind of love that, that we're supposed to have because we don't see this love. My brothers and sisters, people say that they love, they love, they love, they love, but you see division. The they love, but you see confusion. They love, but won't nobody help nobody. They love, but people are so selfish. They love, but I'm going to get mine. You better get yours. They love. They talk about each other, but they love. My brothers and sisters, that's not love. But Jesus delivered me from my strong enemy. My brothers and sisters, we must put our trust in the Lord because he will make everything all right. This is the word of the day, or it could be to you the word of the night. This is Elder Payne on Ustream Television on Facebook, on YouTube, on Twitter, my brothers and sisters, on Instagram, my brothers and sisters. And this is a ministry where a soul is a terrible thing to lose. So no matter what you're going through, I just want to take a few moments out and I just want to encourage you and let you know, no matter what, no matter who you are, no matter how you have fallen and missed the mark of God, no matter what you have done in your life, I declare it in the name of Jesus if you just put trust in God. I know the dollar say, in God we trust. But my brothers and sisters, you must trust God. You must trust the most high God. You must trust the one that sits up high and looks down low. You must trust the one that raised up Jesus on the third day. And the Bible said, with all power in his hands. That's the one you got to trust. I know we got good mothers and fathers, but put your trust in God. I know you got some homeboys that'll stick with you to the end, but put your trust in God. I know God said who he joined together, let no man take asunder, but put your trust in God. I know you got a good education, but put your trust in God. I know you got a lot of money in the bank, but put your trust in God. I know you have a lot of friends, but put your trust in God. I know you may be very popular, but put your trust in God. I know you may be a politician, but put your trust in God. I know you might be a doctor, but put your trust in God. I know you might be a lawyer, but put your trust in God. I know you got a lot of family, but put your trust in God. I know that you got a lot of poor, but put your trust in God. That's the only way to make it. 
Right now, Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus, we call upon your name by faith. And Heavenly Father, we put every situation into your hands. Father God, we cast all of my cares, Father, all of their cares, we cast them on you in the name of Jesus. Thank you for tuning in, my brothers and sisters. This is Elder Payne Live. Shalom. This is the ministry where a soul is a terrible thing to lose. Shalom.